Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be making an effect. This effect is gonna be like a text fade out effect. Basically, let's say the text, instead of the text being visible, and then all of a sudden it's just not visible, there's no like transition or like it slowly fading out, we're gonna make it fade out so it's a little bit cleaner than it just vanishing all of a sudden. So let's get started. The first thing obviously we're gonna need is a screen GUI and then our text, which is my text label. I'll make this a bit big so it's noticeable. Now I'm going to use a button to make it turn or to make it fade just so we can see it. But if you want to use it a different way, then just don't add this or I'll, I'll demonstrate it. So we're going to put a script in the button or inside of our text table, depending on which way you're doing it. And in the button, we're going to do script.parent.mouse button, one click, connect function. So you wouldn't add this if you don't want it to be triggered with a button and you would put the script in the text label instead. So we're going to make a variable. Which this variable will be local text label equals script dot parent dot parent dot text label. So this is a variable. It's like a box, and it's getting the script's parent, which is the text button, and then the parent of the text button, which is the screen GUI, and then the text label that's in the screen GUI. Then this gets when the script's parent is clicked with mouse button one clicked, which is left mouse button, and the script's parent is a text button. So when it's clicked, what we're going to do is we're going to make a repeat loop. There's two ways we can do this, the easy and more proper and neat way, or we could do it the messy way. So we're going to do it the neat way. What we're going to do is repeat and then until. So it's going to repeat until a certain condition. Our condition is going to be repeat until text label dot text transparency equals equals one. So basically, if we go to our text label and we go to our properties over here, you can find text transparency. We can find a scroll wheel. And as you can see, when it's at zero, it's fully transparent or like we can see it. And when we put it all the way to one, we can't see it anymore. It's transparent completely. We can alter how it is. So instead of it just being like this and then gone, as you can see, if I move it instantly, it's going to be more like a slow fade kind of like this so it doesn't look so weird so we're going to keep this at zero by default now the text if until the text transparency equals one we're just going to keep subtracting like 0.1 from it so text label dot text transparency minus equals one or let's do 0 0.1 and we're actually going to do plus because we want to increase it so it gets closer to one, not decrease it since it's already at zero. So until the text label's transparency is one, it's going to keep increasing the transparency by 0 0.1. And now if you want to make it smoother, you can do a shorter or smaller amount like 0 0.05, but I'm going to do 0 0.1. And then I'm just going to do task.weight. And then let's say we could do 0 0.1 second. So every 0 0.1 second, it's going to go 0.1% more transparent or 10% more transparent. So let's give this a try. Let's let this load up. We can open up our output. Output is very helpful for seeing any errors. So let's hit this button. As you can see, it's got a little smooth out or smooth fade out effect. I can go ahead and make it like a little bit smoother. I can make the 0.05 and make the delay 0.05. It's like adding more frames onto a video. The more frames on the video, the smoother it is. As you can see, it's not as glitchy as it was before. And if you want it to fade out quickly, you can just keep messing around with the transparency. So let's see how this looks. Oh, we should probably make it faster. I'm going to do like 0 0.02. So as you can see, the text is going more invisible. I'm just going to make the text a little bit bigger with a different font like this one right here. So we might want the background to go invisible too. This is pretty similar to what we got here. And we can actually 
add this into this repeat loop we don't have to make another one what we can do is text label that background transparency background transparency is another property in the text label then we're just going to do plus equals 0 0.05 and then we can keep this check here to check if only the text transparency is at one because well this is going to be increasing at the same rate so it should achieve one at the same time but just in case this one or background transparency doesn't actually make it to one we're going to do and text label dot background transparency equals equals one just to make sure that the background's transparent so now let's go ahead and launch this game up now if we hit the button the whole thing should fade out just like that now let's say we want to make it visible again what i can do is i can right click on my text button and i can duplicate it move it to the side i'm just gonna change the text this is just gonna be visible or actually invisible and then this other button's text can be visible make it scaled so it's pretty simple instead of plus we're gonna change this to minus because we want to make it more visible and instead of one we want it to be zero because zero makes it fully visible and one makes it completely transparent so if we hit play we can go ahead and check this out so if we hit invisible it fades out we hit visible oh it doesn't even actually go back oh there we go so invisible oh well, i guess we gotta click it a few times invisible let's just click it a few times until it loads and you could do this with any ui element in fact i could make these buttons go invisible when you press them instead of doing text label what you could do is script parent for the button so just replace text label to script parent just like this and we could do the same thing for our other button well this button's not going to be going invisible so it's not really worth changing so let's go ahead and load this one up so instead of making the label invisible we can make this button go invisible you can make anything you want go invisible you can make an image label you can even make a part go invisible with the same strategy you might have to change up properties a little bit but yeah that's how you can make a little smooth fade out effect on any ui or any part if you like hopefully this video helped you and hopefully you enjoyed see ya